People die in this movie. I don't know. I don't want to spoil it. Like, people are gonna die. The star of the movie is the Predator, you know, and we are all here to make it as believable as possible so that when the fans are at home or in the theater watching this, that they believe this world. The world of the movie is, um, it's kind of a, a suburbia in a, in a manner of speaking is where it kind of, it, 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 a lot of it takes place. And what's happening is there, there's, there's dual parallel stories taking place, really. There's the journey in the life of the Predator, and then there's a journey in the life of these men and women that are also in the story. And they, and they like most stories, you know, you're, you're living your life and all of a sudden some inciting action happens and they, they coincide. It's almost like a piece of science fiction just drops in the middle of our very real existence. We're not your, like, average heroes, you know what I mean? We've been these kind of, we're like these soldiers that have been kind of thrown away in a way. We've been kind of forgotten and, and we don't fit, but by not fitting, it kind of speaks to this thing in all of us where we all feel like we have that hero in us. It has this wonderful balance of dark and light that go hand in hand. So you'll find yourself laughing in the most perverse moments and be like, I shouldn't be laughing, but that's pretty damn funny. It does this razor edge sort of tightrope walk. The balance between it being a thriller, it being somewhat of a horror film, and that, that it has all these comedic beats that will sort of loosen the tension in a way that only I think Shane Black could do. You know, it, we have legitimately probably like seven different movies that we've shot pretty much in the can. There's, there's a version of this film that's just hilarious. There's a version that's very serious. And then I know Shane is gonna put you know, bits and pieces of whatever he needs to do throughout certain points in the film to make it like, you know, really speak to the audience. What Shane brings to it is, it's it's the real world. Like, you know, in real life, you know, when there's that, you know, we, we, we know those people that when things are going crazy, there's that one person who has to crack a joke. Hey, Baxley, if your mom's vagina were a video game, it'd be rated E for everyone. <laughs> Shane is just evolving with the audience where, you know, they've seen a million science fiction, hardcore, right. alien movies. Let's give him Predator in a way that can kind of bring a little of that Shane Blackness, blackness. Do I give it? Blackness. You can, you're allowed Shane to say blackness? that. No, you're allowed to say that. You're half Chinese, you're allowed to say that. <laughs> Thanks. All the death scenes really are pretty, pretty gruesome. Somebody gets thrown into a chopper. I think somebody loses a head. The Predator is like holding me up, like on, you know what I mean, like on top of this, this bus. And that was, I don't, I don't want to give anything away, that's the thing. Honestly, like I walk around like fanboying all the time. We all sit around and talk and it doesn't feel like, there. sometimes you can work with directors who are really collaborative and they, they communicate, but they. But there's a feeling of I'm the director and I'm hearing your thoughts, but I'll decide later. But it's it's really like we all sit around and we all talk about it and and I think that's probably the, the best thing is that we all feel like we're kind of making this together. These things can be overwhelming or, you know, with the size of budgets and, and things like that. Just to get, to be constantly surprised from, especially with the group of actors that we got here. They're, as, as Keegan would say, merci. It's an inside joke. You have to ask Keegan about it. <clears throat>